Are you sad or depressed? What is sadness and what is the difference between the sadness and depression? How the sadness affects your body? What are the strategies and tips to overcome from this sadness? And above all, how the sadness helps you? Let's see in this video. Vanakam, welcome to Dr. Jiko. I am Dr. Rajay Arabi. Sadness. Sadness is a feeling of unhappiness or low mood or uh, it's quite a common response or reaction to the situation that are upsetting, disappointing or painful. So sadness is an emotion that lasts for short duration and you can be able to identify the reason or the source behind your sadness. Whereas depression is a mental illness. It lasts for a long duration and it's very difficult for you to identify the exact reason for the current situation. Above all, depression impairs your social, occupational and other aspects of your life. The main difference between the sadness and depression is, depression is having suicidal thoughts. Now see how the sadness affects your body. When you become sad, there will be an alteration in the stress opioid in the brain which has a negative impact on your immune system. So what will result? Your immune system get deranged and you can be vulnerable for all kinds of infections or other diseases which is related to your immune system. Secondly, when you become sad, there will be an increase in the inflammatory cytokine called interleukin-18 in the blood which is associated with heart disease, stroke, and metabolic syndrome. You may come across some person who has sudden heart attack after hearing a sad news or bad news from other side. So the reason behind is uh, the increase in the level of the inflammatory cytokines. Okay, how do you overcome from this sadness? The number one is you should not suppress your emotions. All kinds of emotions, you should not suppress. When you feel sad, when you want to cry, just cry, let it out. Nothing wrong in it. Crying is always good for you, until unless you are not using as a weapon. I have, uh, uh, narrate, I have put a separate video about how this cryness helps you. Uh, I can put in the description, please look over it. So. What happens when you suppress your emotion, it may end in another form of negative emotions like anger or jealous or it may lead to mental illness, depression. So don't suppress your emotion. Number two, don't escape from your emotions. Just acknowledge the emotions. When you start acknowledging your emotions, you can be able to identify the reason behind your sadness which helps you to overcome. Number three, I give a separate time for your sadness. It seems like funny, but what happened when you give a separate time, again, you can be able to acknowledge and then identify the reason which helps you to overcome. Number four, start journaling. Whenever you feel sad, just write down what are the things that uh, comes in your mind. It makes you calm. Number five, spend time with your loved ones. When you start spending time with your loved ones, there will be a production of an another hormone called oxytocin. It's nothing but one of your happy hormone, which helps you to overcome from sadness. And the next one is everyone knows laughter is the best therapy. So do watch some comedy scenes or comedy movies. It makes you feel better. And the some factors are there, which is very useful for being an emotionally healthier person. What are they? You, you need to practice gratitude. When you start counting on your blessings, it makes you uh, more positive. It makes you uh, have a better look in your life. So practice gratitude and do regular exercises. Uh, practice mindfulness and meditations. These are the things which is common for all kind of uh, which is common for overcoming from all kinds of negative emotions. Okay, now we'll see how this sadness helps. Yes, sadness helps you. When the sadness is adaptive, it reminds you what matters most in your life and it gives you a life meaning. 
So it, it's, it's like it gives you information to survive and thrive in your life. And another thing, sadness encourages the development of positive personality traits like uh, thoughtfulness, alerts, uh, alertness and resilience. So it's like, it's so sadness acts like a, a motivating agent for you when you deal with challenges. Above all, at the end of the day, it's your choice. Whether you reap the benefits or you're just progressing to a mental illness called depression. So stay self-aware, stay positive, stay happy, stay blessed. Thank you.